Well, Lady and I must say, this is about the weather here on Maui. And, and it has to be said, it really does depend uh, which coast you're on as well. Like, it, as I mentioned before, if you look at a map, you'll see that all the resorts are on the west side of the island. And the reason for that is because, that's because where there's, I run into the lady, that's where there's less rain, less wind, less surf, and more whales, and well, during the whale season. So all those resorts are on that side of the island. So the other side of the island gets more rain, gets more wind, gets more surf, which, was, which is why all the surfing is on the north side of the island. The wind surfing, the, the, the um, what do you call it, the um, parasailing, all, all those ty type of windy sporting um, activities take place on the uh, north side of the island. Uh, and that's where Hannah is. Hannah's very lush, lots of waterfalls. That comes from the rain. So, um, so there's two distinct sides. Um, do you agree? <laughs> She's like a shadow. She just follows me everywhere. Um, anyway, and from where we are now, we actually get to see the harbor. That's the harbor just over there. And on, uh, normally on Sundays, about noon, there's uh, one cruise ship company that arrives over there. And, and uh, over there, there's the con container port and all that kind of stuff. And so there's the water and, and um, I'm today Sunday, so certainly later, there'll be people windsurfing and all that kind of stuff but it's not so good for swimming, right? So if you're into swimming, you know, unless you're really good at it, this is not the side of the island to be on. Um, there's maybe not quite so much snorkeling. Some people say the further as you, as you go down the coast, 10 miles or so, um, then like where you see the turtles, maybe there might be some snorkeling but the best part of it, uh, of that sort of thing, is not on this side of the island. But from where we are, we get to see both volcanoes. And um, this is very unusual, actually, because that's the one called Hale Keller, I think, something like that. As you can see, it's clear. That's the one we went up to a few weeks ago. At the top, you, you can hardly see it through this iPad. But that's where there's, there's an observatory. And there's a road that goes up it. People go up there for sunrise and sunset. And of course, it's it's always, you know, you're taking a bit of a gamble with the weather. Today would have been, I suspect, a, a, a great day for sunrise, um, which is unusual, actually. And, and most days we get up and, and it's it's nowhere near this clear. And that's just over 10,000 feet, actually. Um, but it's, it's nowhere near clear. And I've often thought to myself, Wow, I feel sorry for anyone that's gone up there, you know, got up at five o'clock in the morning or whatever, just to go up for sunrise and then, you know, don't really get to get a good one. Whereas today, um, would have been okay, I think. And, and sunset's the same sort of thing, although if you're into sunsets, I have to admit, I'd go over to the west side of the island and there's, there's a lot of places, a lot of beaches where you can just perch yourself and, and just check out some really nice sunsets. Yeah, I'm not sure I'd go to, the, to over 10,000 feet for that. But the other thing as well, and this is really unusual, I'm delaying this by a few seconds, um, it's really unusual. it's the other volcano, and we've almost never seen that clear. And yet today, look at that. That is so unusual. I mean, it is just... It is just absolutely clear. We've never seen that before. Never, never, never. Or at least I haven't. Wow, that, that's so weird. And so both of these volcanoes are clear. And you can see this one here. I can't remember its name. You, you see it, it, it's really lush, very green. And again, you know, that's because of all the rain. But today, wow, wow. And then of course, in between the volcanoes, you get, I think it's called the neck. It's between the two volcanoes and just head straight out that way to, to the west.
coast. And that's the thinnest part of the island. If you look at a map, you see the, the thinnest part um, where the, the, the two sides um, of two oceans, if you like, are, are, well, they're not two oceans, it's the same ocean. Um, the two sides are closest to each other. That's that bit there, and that's, that's called the neck. And uh, you can get some decent views of that if, if you sort of go up, up country there. Up, um, you don't have to go all the way to the top. You know, there's various roads or even buses um, that you can take and you kind of get a view of that neck. Anyway, yeah, so, so that's that. And um, I, thought I should say that um, this over here on the right, that um, I think there's a park called Ely or Elu or something like that. That's been closed for a while because they had some really heavy rain, which really messed things up. I don't know if it was a few weeks or a few months ago. It really messed things up. Though. So and uh, so they closed. They closed the trails. They are reopening on the first of May, which is um, a couple of days after we leave. <laughs> oh dear me! But anyway, yeah. So this, I you know, I just kind of had to take this video because. I just haven't seen, I just haven't seen this before, you know, in seven weeks, I think. I haven't seen this with, with both, both volcanoes are clear. Wow. And what do you think about that young lady? <laughs> she, honestly, she's like a shadow. Aren't you, buddy? Uh, yesterday you saw a turtle, didn't you? Eh? You saw a turtle. I think she's actually deaf or extremely hard of hearing but yesterday was the day we uh, took her to, to some beaches and all of that <laughs> anyway so that's it I mean, uh, good morning to you too oh, cute, isn't it? she's fostered actually she's fostered I mean fostered Anyway, oh, look at that, talking of the, I swear to God, I didn't know this was happening. There is um, a cruise ship arriving. I think it's one of the, uh, um, ends with CL, is it Norwegian Cruise Lines? I think it's that company. Not sure which, let's zoom in. There it is. I bet there's a whole bunch of excited people on, on that right now, up on the decks. Their first glimpse of Maui, or maybe their first glimpse of an Hawaiian island. That's coming into over there. But normally that stays for two days. So I'm not sure if this is where, you know, a, a, a cruise is finished. Uh, and, and then everyone gets off and then it takes a day or so to sort of reprovision it and they get going again on Tuesday. But normally cruise lines turn around quicker than that. So I'm not sure. Anyway, and I didn't know that was coming in actually. Normally it comes in about noon. But now it's, I think it's about seven. So how about that? 